In Rice Plaza, Brooke Lynn is shocked when Chase appears. She wasn't expecting him to show up. He says Dante informed him the board is going to review his case in the spring, thanks to her. He wonders what she did. She thought this is what he wanted. Suddenly Link interrupts and asks if this dude is happening or not. He says if it isn't, then Brooke Lynn can kiss their partnerships and her songs goodbye. Mac and Felicia arrive and meet up with Dante and Sam. Mac's phone pings so he excuses himself. Nina, dressed as Mrs. Claus, and Sasha, as an elf run into Sunny and Donna. Sasha and Nina give Donna an ornament and candy cane to put on the big tree, but she would rather eat the candy cane. Sunny says she can do that if she wants. Sasha takes the girl to see the reindeer. BLQ takes to the stage to announce Chase and Blaze. The duo sings their new single, which drops tonight. After the song, Mac tells Felicia he has to cut out early. Dante overhears and asks if there is a lead. Mac says they do have a lead that goes back to Felicia and Ryan Chamberlain. He says forensics pulled DNA off the earring, and it's Ryan's ex-wife he killed three decades ago. Felicia realizes there is only one way to get answers about how this killer got that earring. Dan lets Sam know there is a lead on the hook, and she tells him it's okay and to go to work. Meanwhile, Link scolds Blaze for her matronly wardrobe when he told her to dress as Santa's mistress. He drags her off, and Brooklyn vents that she can't wait until that sleaze is taken down. Chase agrees. She asks if this means they are still in this together. He is willing to give their business partnership another try to stop Link, but nothing more. BLQ was hoping that the letter and his second chance with the force could give them a second chance too. He says she took away his agency and played God with his life. She asks if they can get past this, but he says they can't and walks away. After Donna visits San, she tells Sasha that she asked Santa to bring her a happy new year. Sasha is touched and takes the little girl to get some cocoa. At home, Carly calls Joss and leaves a message asking her to text her when she leaves Trina's. The doorbell rings, and it's Ava and Avery. Avery and Carly hug, and Ava explains they were on the way to the gingerbread jam and thought they'd stop by and visit. Carly asks if they have time for hot cocoa, and Ava says they can squeeze it in. Ava sends Avery in and tells Carly she'll wait in the car, but Carly invites her in. Carly gifts Dono with a set of walkie-talkies. She runs off to test them, leaving one with Ava. Carly and Ava try and make small talk. When Carly brings up Nicholas, Ava chokes on her cocoa. Carly realizes there is trouble in paradise and after Ava reveled in her divorce. Ava says, Karma is a bitch. Ava tells her that Nicholas cheated on her multiple times. Carly thought Nicholas was smarter than that. Avery calls Ava on the walkie-talkies to test that it works. Ava suggests she get back to the living room because it is time to go.